Hi, everybody. Today's video is what is a pre-sub? So for those of you that have never done a pre-sub before, we're talking about an FDA pre-submission. Before you're going to submit a 510K or Genovo, you typically have some questions for the FDA. So the purpose of a pre-sub is to ask the FDA those questions before you submit. In fact, even before you do your testing, you don't want to spend money on testing you didn't need to do or spend the money on the wrong tests and then have to do additional testing. Or maybe you'll do the test incorrectly. Maybe you won't have the right sample size. Maybe not the right justification for the worst case scenario. So you need to ask the FDA your questions. Instead of getting the answer from um, our company, it depends. Actually, the more common response to questions that we get from clients is, well, that would be a great question to ask in a pre-sub. Why? Because you need the official answer from the FDA and you'd like it in writing. So you, if you ask the FDA your question in a pre-submission, they'll respond to you either in writing in an email, or you can also request a, an email response with a teleconference. In that case, what's different is you can ask any clarifying questions you have later to the FDA in a teleconference. It can be a video teleconference or a phone teleconference, your choice. Most of the time, it's a Zoom meeting with the FDA. And the only problem with a teleconference is you have to create meeting minutes for it, and then the FDA edits your meeting minutes. So there is that burden of writing the meeting minutes, but you want that in writing anyway. So a pre-submission, the purpose of it is to ask the FDA questions before you have a future submission of a 510K or de novo. Now, today, in just a few minutes, and I recorded this video just for this purpose, I'm going to be posting a brand new blog about FDA pre-submissions. So the link is down below. If you are doing a 510K pre-sub or a 510K submission and you haven't gotten it all done yet and you have time to ask questions, click on the link below. And if you know of anybody else that's doing this, share the link with them. Now, in addition to this blog that we're posting, we're also going to have a live streaming this Friday. So 1230 this Friday, Eastern time. If you have questions, want to ask, um, put them in the chat down below. Um, when we do the live streaming next week, you can do that. Or sorry, this Friday, you can do that. Just type in your questions or send them to me by email in advance. And we'll answer your questions about pre-stars. What is a pre-star? Now, that's a brand new template the FDA released for pre-submissions. So I talk about that in the blog I'm going to be posting, and we're going to be talking about it live in the live streaming YouTube this Friday. So you can get the answers either way. But there's one more option. Next Wednesday, we're going to be starting a four-part mini-series. So four-part mini-series, live webinars, 45 minutes each, every Wednesday for four weeks about pre-star. So this is the FDA's brand new template. It's in beta version. It was released June 6 as version 0 0.1. And it allows you to submit a pre-sub electronically using one document, one PDF document that's the FDA's template instead of creating your own or using our companies. And in fact, I'm not even using ours anymore. I'm using the FDA's pre-star. Even I like it better than my own. So there's your incentive. <laughs> when the consultant that's making these templates stop using his own and uses the FDAs right away, that's a sign this is a really good template and you should use it. And it's free. So you can download it. The links are down below for the uh, blog that we are going to be releasing in a few minutes, the live streaming that we have this Friday, and the four-part mini-series. And if you purchased our 510K course, you're going to get that free. Um, if you have not purchased the 510K course, you can always upgrade. Um, you purchase the pre-star mini series, you like it, upgrade to the 510K course when you're getting ready to prepare your 510K. I hope that answers all your questions. If you found this helpful, please like it and share it with others. See you next week or maybe this Friday. Bye-bye.